Hey superstars, I'm Sue and welcome to my channel, Reviews with Sue. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and supporting our channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Sue and hope you're considering that subscribe button. So would you like to know what today's unboxing is all about? Well, let me show you. It is the journal junk sack, the journal junk box, and lastly, the kids creative journaling box. If you want to know what's inside all these packages, then just keep on watching. Doing reviews just like I do. Hanging out with your friend, Sue. It's Sue. And I'm back at the journal junk sack, the journal junk box, and lastly, the kids' creative journaling box for June 2024. If you've never heard of these three amazing subscription boxes, you don't know what you're missing. But I got to tell you a little bit of information I heard. A little birdie told me that the journal junk box is relaunching, they are. And what that means is they are actually going to be consolidating all three of these subscriptions starting June 1st, which means I believe if you sign up now, then starting July 1st, you will receive the brand new relaunched box. And it's gonna be basically a consolidation of all of these. So I'm not gonna go into all the details about them, but I'm gonna show you the goods I am. Now the relaunching box is gonna be $52.99 plus shipping if you go month to month. If you do sign up for a longer term, you definitely save some money there. Now they're gonna be more sustainable. They're gonna be more compact. I saw the box and it is beautiful. I cannot wait to see what Dallas brings along with that one. So I do have a discount code though. It is super stars. That's gonna give you 15% off your very first subscription box. I'm gonna leave all their information down below in the description box, just in case you wanna check it out for yourself. And if I have any giveaways going on, I'm also gonna link that down below. Now, a few other things that I do want to tell you is over on the Journal Junk Box site, they don't just sell their subscription boxes. They also sell one-off items and they always have tons and tons of different sales going on. Sometimes it's a dollar off if you spend so much or it may even be a percentage off. So some of the items that she has left over from some of her previous boxes, those kind of items go for sale and you definitely want to become part of their VIP group because then they even have exclusive sales just for those also. Now, another thing is they actually have a digital subscription that you can sign up for. And I don't remember exactly what the price is and I do apologize. But when you head on over to the website, you can check that out too. It's all digital, so you won't get anything mailed to you, but you'll probably get like an email or you'll get like a sign on where you can go in there each month and they're gonna have lots more information that you can print out for yourself. They have like journaling prompts there. There's gonna be like a whole bunch of information. I personally haven't checked it out yet, but I have seen some of my other unboxing friends talk about it on their channels, but I'm drawing like a complete blank here because you know something? I always draw a blank when it comes to these boxes because I get so excited about them. Now, the kind of items you're gonna see in here are gonna be like desk accessories, thing to make your environment a little bit more friendly and fun with notepads and stickers and pens and journals. All that kind of stuff is still gonna come in your box though. Just remember that. Now, Dallas does send me this over free for review, and I do want to thank Dallas so much for always thinking of me and also her right-hand woman, which is Pat or Patricia. So thank you both so much for always thinking of me. You are so, so kind. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got in these boxes because these are the kind of items that you're going to see inside the brand new relaunched box. So we're gonna start off with the Kids Creative Journaling Box because this is the one that's here in front of me. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and if you get any of these subscriptions, let's talk about it in the comments down below because I like to chat as you all know already. So when you open it up, it looks like this. So for this one here, it looks like we have Sandy Adventures June. It also gives us here some journaling prompts there. And then on the flip side of the card, it goes over all the items that's going to be in the box. Now they have like a little journaling map over here. So you can go one, two, three, four. This is like a great way to introduce your children into journaling. But remember, if this box disappears, the other box is going to work just as well. Then we also have the kids' creative journaling box right there. There is their card. We have fueled with happy thoughts. On the flip side is going to be our mood scope. Grateful, happy, sad, angry, or frustrated. So depending on how your child is feeling that day, have them go ahead and journal away about it. Then we have our little sticker, Creative Kids Write, right there. And then we've got our tissue. So now we are going to go ahead and bust open the tissue. We are, ooh, something's really cute on top. Oh my goodness. All right, this, is this gonna have a, it's gonna have like a beach theme. That's what they meant when they were talking about, um. 
what was it? Sandy Adventures. Oh, yes, and I'm definitely a beachy kind of girl, as you can tell here. I've got my little seahorse here in the background today. These are sparkly pens, and I really hope that they write sparkly as well. Let's see here. It's a set of three pens, sparkly pens. So I don't know if they're just sparklies because they're like little mermaid tails or if the pen itself is going to be sparkling, but I'm definitely going to be diving into that. Okay, then our next thing we have is going to be some stickers, and it looks like, from the first one, it looks like a little seashell. And I love to put stickers on friend mail and giveaways that I do, so these always come in so handy. Remember, you can always put these in your junk journals or your planners, and let's see here. What do we got here? Oh, oopsie, I got Let's see, what, do you, what is that? I don't even know what that is. Oh, so you got a little a little snail there. And it looks like you've got, ooh, a really pretty one right there. Nice shell. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but I'm sure it's something fun because it had pink and purple in there. And then you've got this shell here. Let's see if you got that shell there. So lots of fun stickers. And I wanna say, if I had to guess, we have probably about 50 stickers right here. And then our next item is going to be a hexagon sticky note, three by three inches, and it has 50 sheets. And look at how pretty that looks right there. I mean, the background of this is actually blending into the sticky note itself. And I use sticky notes all the time. I've got sticky notes everywhere. If you walked into my husband's office right now, you would look at like the credenza that's like behind him. He's got sticky notes like lined up all along his credenza of different things that he wants to remember. The next thing we have is the Coast to Coast Stamps, and it has travel. Oh my gosh, and with my upcoming big vacation coming, these are gonna be so awesome for when I wanna put some different things in my journal. But we've got like a camera here. Now, usually with these type of um, stamps, what you need is a, an acrylic block like, and then you put these little stamps on it, like they kinda like stick to it, and then you put it in the ink pad, and then you stamp away. But look at how cute all those are. And then look, you got your little bicycle right there. Okay, then we have here, oh, look at it, Dallas didn't forget, she even included some ink. So we've got something to get us going right there. So we've got gold, black, orange, and green. And then we have our journal. It says, my journal, and it really does. And then look at how fun and festive that is. I love it, for one thing, because it has a palm tree. It's got flip-flops, it's got watermelon, it's got little fishies, hearts, water, drinky poos, you name it, and it has it. Now, I have to say, the kids' creative journaling box, I honestly, truly love this box. Sometimes I like this box better than the other ones. Not that I don't like the other ones. Don't get me wrong, because I love anything to do with this kind of stuff. So this is going to be like not a hard cover, but it is like a hard plastic cover. It does have the spiral bound there, which is the kind I like. And the inside of it, it's clear here. So if you wanted to, you could decorate this all up with some stickers. And then this is what the pages look like right here. So it's a nice lined page. So we have that, cute. And then, are we on to our final item? We are. This is the Sun Catcher Activity Kit, ages three plus. It is a DIY, so it's a do it yourself. So you can see there, these are the little sun catchers you're gonna be making. So it looks like it's gonna be coming with like the different paints there. And I'm sure you might need mommy's assistance when you go to do this but I can't ask my mommy, but I think I can do it myself. Or this might be something I might even do like with my great nephew or something. Oh, look at, look at the look at the little turtle right there. And I know my turtle isn't here. He should be here. Do I have a seahorse here? No, there's no seahorse, but there's lots of fun fishy kind of items in there, things that you might find in the ocean. So in the Kids Creative Journaling Box for June, 2024, we have this activity kit here. We have the journal. We also have a huge selection of shell stickers here. We have the stamp pad. We also have the stamps to go with it. We have the little sticky notepad here. We have the fish tail, or you could say the um, mermaid tail sparkly pens right here. And then also you have your Moodoscope, which is very popular too, because you know, you wanna read about it and then, you know, write those kind of things down in your journal. And then that way you'll feel so much better, especially if it's something fun or if you had like a bad day and you wanna talk about it in your journal, you can definitely do that. So that was everything that came in the Kids Creative Journaling Box. 
Guess what? We are going to now move on to the journal junk sack. It's a bite-sized version of the box itself. Now, inside here, I don't know what we have because I have to cut her open yet. So let me get my little baby scissors out here so I can kind of do a little, little, a little dissecting of this bag here. Oh no, this might be the last bag I see. I actually, I might just want to be a little bit nicer with this bag because I might want to save it as a little souvenir. And here we go. So we have our little bundle of joy here. And this is the little bundle. She always does such a great job in just wrapping up and having everything all nicely contained so it gets to you all nicely in one piece. So we do have a theme, Seaside Serenity June journal prompts. So I think we're going to be talking more about the beach we are. So right here, you can see there's a little baby turtle and a little baby fishy. Looks like little baby Nemo. I like to say baby, can you tell? Then we also have our journaling prompts for new beginners. We also have a little inspiration card. I am at peace, as steady and serene as the last deep sea, as the vast deep sea. So we have that little card right there. Ooh, I like the scenery on there. It's got like a little ship there in the background. Then we have the journal junk sack little card right here. And you can follow Dallas over on Facebook, Instagram, and she even has her own YouTube channel. And she does a lot of shorts over there, or little reels basically over there, showing you like some of the unboxings that she does, or she just gives you some inspirational because she's also a mentor. She loves to help women succeed in life. Now, what do we have in here? We have the Ocean Oasis. Yes, Kelgan, take me away. So we have Beach Life, Sandy Toes Forever. So we do have some stickers right here. And I don't know if this is just one sheet. There might be a few of them. And this is actually put out by the Journal Junk Box. Journal Junk Sticker Collection. Is Dallas, are you actually making your own stickers now? I don't recall ever seeing that in a box before. And then, oh, these are cute. And I love these kind of pens. We have a set of two pens. Okay, we got to get into these pens because I'm thinking that these just might be clicky pens. And I is a clickety kind of girl. So let me pull these out of here. And these are so cute and pretty. Oh, yeah. Oh, they actually have a texture to them, too. So this one has a little, like, little, like, star there, as in super star. She knew I had to say that. But look at This is actually textured with all those really pretty sparkles in there. And yes, it is a clicky pen. And then we have another one. Now, this one looks like little mermaid scales on there. I love these two pens. And then the top of this is kind of like a rose gold material. And yes, it is clicky. Yes, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, then our next item says make waves. And this looks like it's going to be like a pencil pouch. But you know something? Pencil pouches you don't always have to use for pencils. In fact, I have a couple of them that I actually use for my makeup brushes when I travel. This is really nice. This is made out of a nice canvas material. You can see it says make waves right there. And then you've got your waves going on. You got the front zipper, which zips very nicely. Hmm. I may have to take this on my upcoming vacation because I might be able to use this for something. And then it also has a little zipper up there at the top. And then the inside, ooh, there's a little gusset there at the bottom. Oh, look, and the little waves continue on. So it does have about that much of a depth to it. And then that is the inside. I know it's kind of dark in there. It's kind of like the old black hole there, but believe me, there is actually quite a bit of room in there. And you can store all your pens your sticky notes in there, you can put your stickers in there, any of your school or office supplies. And then lastly, we have our journal. It says daily journal, embracing joy and abundance. And looky, looky, we've got the ocean there in front of us. Then this is actually going to be branded by the journal junk box, so where's that? And then when you open it up, this is what the pages are gonna look like. So I like these like nice wider ruled pages because I write on the bigger side, only because I can't see. And if I want to see what I wrote without putting on my reading glasses, then I can still read it. Oh, this is really pretty, Dallas. I like it. I love anything to do with the ocean. I'm excited. Okay, guess what? We are now, oh wait, let me do a quick little recap. Here is going to be our journal from the journal Junk Sack. We have two pens, not one, but two. We also have our pencil pouch right here. We also have our Ocean Oasis stickers. And oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot, she even gives us the pricing on everything. So the journal junk, let's see here, which one is this? Embracing the joy. So we have our journal itself. This has a retail value of $16.99. 
Under the Sea pen set has a value of $8.99. We have Make Ways Canvas Pouch by Faithworks has a value of $21. And then we also have the Ocean Oasis Sticker Pack by the Journal Junk Box, $10.99 value. So those were the, all the items that came in the Journal Junk Sack. But guess what time it is? It's time to get into the big kahuna box right on over here. Now she must have ran out of boxes and labels because of the relaunch that she's doing. And I just can't wait to get my little hands on that new box because it is super cute, you guys. You're gonna love it. So let me see if I can get this box open. Is it tape? No, it's not tape, but I'm just kind of like uh, doing a little, I'll tell you in a pull in here I am. So let's see here, got it, okay. So in here we have a prompt, which is the same prompt right there. This is from the journal junk box there. Then we have Seaside Serenity June journal prompts. So we do have some more prompts right there. On the flip side, it does go over everything that's gonna be inside the box as well as the retail values. So we'll do a quick little recap at the end. And then we also have here our journal junk box card where you can follow them on Facebook, Instagram, as well as Dallas's YouTube channel the Journal Junk Box channel. And then, oh, I have to do this. Hold up the sticker and you can see it says, hey, journal babes, because I love saying that. I hope the new box has that little sticker because I find it very fun and satisfying when I say that out loud. So let me go ahead and rip the tissue here. And it looks like we got a bunch of foozles. So let me ship those out of the way and whoa. Okay, so we're gonna start off with some jumbo paper clips. And when I say jumbo, I mean, jumbo. Look at the size of these little guys. Let's see, can I get one out of here? Let's see, where did my little baby scissors go? Here we go. Let me cut this open because these are like pretty cool. I bet you my husband's gonna snatch these from me. Okay, I can't quite get them out. So, okay, I can't get, I can't find where the tape is to cut that. And I don't wanna cut myself, but look it. It has pink ones, blue ones, green ones, and white ones. And I believe there is going to be an eight count of these huge jumbo paper clips inside there. And it looks like they're gonna have like that rubber coating on there. That's really nice, super cute. Okay, then we have, ooh, I is seeing some more clicky pens, awesome. So let me go ahead and move this over here and see what we have in this little set. So these, I believe, are gonna be a little bit different. Yes, they are a little bit different colors. So we have this one here that has more of the purple. So we've got our little mermaid scales there. And then this one is a little bit texturized. And then look at that. Look at how it glitters there. And then the top of that looks like it's gonna be like a rose gold color. Clicky, clicky, I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, then, when I say I like it, I like it a lot, that means I really like it. I know, I can be such a dork when I get into these boxes. Okay, the next item I have is the ocean has my heart, and it really does. So this is the little notepad, I believe, and it's a, oh, oh, did you hear that? Listen, it's magnetized, and then when you flip her open, let me get a couple of these little foozies off of here, foozles, it says the ocean has my heart, and then these are the little notes right there. So you've got a little notepad there. Now, yes, these aren't sticky notes. These are, this is just a regular little notepad, but this is like perfect for your purse or even like your little Lulu lemon bag because it is that small enough that it'll fit in there. Okay, then I've got all these like these little guys in front of me, so I'm kind of like digging through them while trying to fish out some things. Ooh, what is this? This is um, some treasures, 36 pieces, and I believe these are going to be little baby stickers. And look. It's kinds of things you're going to find in the ocean. You've got your shells. You got little starfish. You have your ocean grass over here. So you're going to have like a bunch of stuff. And these are like more little baby stickers. So these are great for your planners. And then we also have here Seaside Serenity Journal Junk Sticker Collection. Seize the day. Salty vibes only. And we have that sticker pack there. And I believe there's probably going to be like two sheets in there. And then... We also have Ride the Wave. Oh my gosh, I need my little turtle behind me because this is a set of note cards. And look at, I mean, look, there is a little turtle swimming away on there. These are great, so I can use these for like little thank you cards when I send my friend mail out. And let's see here. So it looks like, oh, they are all different. Okay, so we've got this one right here. And this is also branded by Journal Junk Box right there. And the inside of this is going to be completely blank. 
Then you have <clears throat> this card here, which has a jellyfish and a, oh, I'm drawing a blank, jellyfish and, okay, it's going to come to me, but I just can't think, stingray, yes, a stingray there, and the inside is going to be blank. Then we have ride the wave. Look, we have a seahorse, and look, we have a seahorse. So look, I think they're brothers. Who knows? They may even be sisters. And then we have the, of course, the um, envelopes that go along with it. And then, let me, I'm doing some digging here still. Okay, we've got here, I am worthy of all the love and happiness life has to offer. And then we've got all these cool jellyfish with all their little tentacle thingies coming down. And then here is the back of it. Again, it's branded by the journal Junk Box. Inside, clear, so you could actually put a bunch of stickers in there. And then you've got the nice wide ruled pages right there. Cute. Ooh. Which box is going to be your favorite? I don't know. This might be a tough one. And then I think we're on to our last item. I'm just kind of feeling around in my box here. I'm getting the little foozles or the little styrofoams from stop staticking to everything here. So let me go ahead and shift this over to the side. And lastly, we have from Heartfelt, the weekly planner. Always take the scenic route. And this is what it looks like right here. I love these kind of planners because it has all the days of the week. So you can kind of like sketch out ahead of time what you're going to be doing for the week. So you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oh, and then it says weekend plans. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. So you got your weekend plans over here and then you can put all your tasks for the week and then you can take one of your pens and cross it off or grab a highlighter and highlight it so then that way you know it's completed because to me it's very satisfying to write things down and then cross it off or highlight it once I complete it because I just feel like I've accomplished that much more and then there's also a section on here for a shopping list and to do things so that is that right there and I want to say this has I don't know it doesn't tell me how many pages but I can show you the thickness it is pretty darn thick right there so let me do a quick recap of this one right here as long as I can find my little card. Yes, here's the card. I am worthy journal by journal junk value $16.99. The title treasure pieces collection by journal junk $8.99. So I believe that's this item right here. Then we have the Seaside Serenity sticker pack by journal junk $10.99. So we have that there. Ride the Wave Note Card Set by Journal Junk, $13.99. I wonder if they're just going to be called the Journal Junk now because she's not saying the word box there. And these have a value of $13.99. The Ocean Has My Heart Pocket Notebook by Punch Studio, value $10.99. Under the Sea Jumbo Paper Clip Set, value $5.99. Ocean Sparkle Set of Two, value $8.99. And then lastly, the Scenic Route Desk Planner by Heartfelt, value $17.99. Oh my gosh. I loved all three of these this time around. I have to say, I mean, I love those note cards. The journals are awesome. Anything to do with the ocean, the sea, the lake, the beach, anything is totally up my alley. I have to say... This pencil pouch, make waves, super duper cute. So I don't know if I can really vote on a box. Let me know in the comments below, which box is your favorite? The kids creative journaling box, the journal junk sack, or the journal junk box. Dallas, I do want to thank you again so much for sending this over. I so greatly appreciate it. Remember, I do have that discount code SUPERSTARS that'll give you 15% off your very first subscription box. And that is an affiliate link and code. So if you do use it, I may receive a little kickback. And if you do, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Let me know down below in the comment section so then that way I can thank you personally. If I have any giveaways going on, I'm also gonna link that down below. I do wanna thank you all so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe. A like on your way, it would be great. And if you had an extra time, Hop on over to Instagram. Follow me over there. It's Reviews to Sue, just like my channel name. Other than that, that's all I have for you guys today. So please be safe, be well, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.